Well, a new report shows just how much students have struggled during the pandemic. As CBS 17's Lillian Donahue explains, the students' expected performance did not meet up to their actual performance. Here at the Wade Edwards Learning Lab, students come here after school for even more school to get caught up. And then that makes why. We're seeing students with uh, knowledge gaps of, of multiple grade levels at this point. For teachers and tutors, it's all about catching students up after they've missed in person instruction. And everyone that I talked to, every student I talked to, uh, was just not happy about virtual learning, felt like it was difficult to be motivated to go to school. Those feelings are now reflected in state data. It, it's a tough report to give. A new report by the Department of Public Instruction shows a negative impact on learning from the pandemic on students in nearly every subject and every grade level, especially though fifth through ninth grade math and eighth grade science. And if we're really gonna be serious about academic recovery, uh, we have to know where we're starting. So this really gives us that benchmark. The report showed learning losses increased even more for students who remained virtual as well as economically disadvantaged students. I think it's pretty clear that for the vast majority of children in our state, in-person learning is superior. It is impossible to expect a child sit in front of a computer every day for four to six hours a day and learn by just listening to the teacher. Families are now turning to outside tutoring services and educational support organizations to try and close those growing learning gaps. If a student uh, is here in their class and their ability level is over here, then we need to fill in that space. And I, I, I think that's what tutoring is all about. The next steps for the Department of Public Instruction is to bring their findings to the General Assembly this month and brainstorm different programs and state action that might actually help students get back up to speed. Reporting in Raleigh, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News. And you can read that full DPI report on our website, CBS17.com, as well as the news app. A new report found 